Well, hello everyone, this is EC the Gamer, and we are back with Valkyria Chronicles. <coughs> so, let's see. Last time I finished the... What's the name of the mission? The Battle of Barriers. I finished that one, so now I'm going to the Woodlands Snare. So, we'll see what this is all about. I really don't remember. Hmm, it seems that it's divided in two missions. Okay, so this is chapter 8. There's some things that I might read today, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, I did already one of these missions. Uh, I need to do this one too. The Clothing Wildwoods, okay. Okay, those, those things are important to if you want to level up. The grind in the story. I'll also repeat some of the missions. So let's go and do this. <coughs> Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgreece. Okay, so we're returning to the capital. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Huh? Ah! Okay, that seems to be like mortar fire or something. Well, Hold on! Where are you going? Don't be an idiot! Who's gonna drive the tank if you get hurt? <laughs> Argo! We've got to move our butts now! Two more minutes and we'll be dead! Damn! No choice. We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover! Come on, Isara! Now! Right. Yeah, so that's a bit of an ambush. Oh, here we go. The music of the Lost Story music. This is Lost Story music. It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Yeah. So now we have an injured soldier. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, oh, I was going to make a big mistake. Let me save. Uh, so based on my... I, I know that you can see this, but there's like 18 chapters, maybe? So, yeah, we're still some, some way off. Let's keep going. <coughs> There's nothing else that I can do, I just need to do the mission. Escape from forest Nair. So we got ambush. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. But yeah, that's one of the things that I do not like about the game is that the cuff scenes are always the same characters. Largo, Rosie, Wilkins. Alicia and Isara, like it's always that group. I think they, f I, I knew, I need to play the second, the the Valkyrie Chronicles 4, but I think that game they fixed that. 
and the the other squad members actually become like protagonists or at least ca actual characters in the story. Again, I, I thought that I need them to be like very deep in the story, but they have to be at least shown, right? Like no one is shown here. It's always the same characters. Like that's the only squad. Like the those are the only squad members. But that's just a, uh, in my opinion, still a minor thing. This game is just really good. You only be two units out there, and your position are predetermined. Of course, so I don't need to do anything. Okay, so that's where we have to go. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the perimeter they set up out there. Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. You'll see no sight line from enemies more than a set distance away and be unable to see them in action mode. You also don't have access to the wireless communication equipment in your tank, meaning no orders. Be careful. Okay, so Alicia dies, Walking dies. Okay, pretty much no one can die. Alright, ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. Here we go. Wow, it's really gotten dark. The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance. Yeah, okay, so Sherlock. Out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry, I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Oh, I do remember this mission. Is that sound a mortar? Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. So, when you see this story, you assume, oh, this is based on World War II, right? But the way they did the story, and I understand why, there's no planes here. At least maybe the technology is starting, but I think the reason they did that was because adding that would just, I mean, would change the game completely. Like, uh, in whether it's orders or strategy, something would definitely change. So I think they do not. You know, to be careful, they didn't do it. Ready to go. Okay, so I got three points. Let's see the map. Yes, yeah, she's hurt. Let's move with Welkin first. Enemy sighted. Yes, nice one. Yes! <laughs> it's like, I did it. I need to move here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, welcome. What's that like? So we're going to use a bit of the fireflies. Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent. The same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferin feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. Oh, I think they already spotted us. So essentially, let's Let's leave here. My turn, okay? Yeah, Alicia will not be able to move fast. Which is really cool, uh, the fact that they actually had that in the story, like... I don't know, I think once she applies that, she should be able to move much faster. 
Yeah, I need to er to move again. My turn, okay? I don't know if she's going to get there, but hopefully she will. Okay. Let them explode whatever the heck they want. Very curious mission, right? There's no music, like, it's... I mean, it's not my favorite thing, but... I think you have to give them credit, because they're trying to make it look like... You know, this is a very... You know... Uh, <coughs> you have to be very stealthy. Uh, yeah, this is so weird, like... It's a really cool thing, that it's actually seeing... It's showing you where they are. Yeah, yeah, that that does change. I think, or at least once I keep moving, it will change again. So Ready let's go. go walking. I think with this, these leaves, this will heal her at least a bit. Great, this is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. It... it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Yeah, that's a good thing. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. Okay, so the more I find, the better she will get. Damn it, didn't even see it. That's okay. That was my fault. Didn't even see it. Searchlights. This is bad news. Yeah, no kidding, Sherlock. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. Love nature. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I assume this might be the row. My turn, okay. Smell of fresh soil. Moving out. That's if it works. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's see what happens. Come on. Now. Yes, I knew it. I, if she, he doesn't evade, I should be okay. Yeah, it's going to keep moving. Yeah. Ready to go. <sighs> Gotta love nature. Let's see how far it goes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can go much faster, but... My turn, okay? Smell of fresh soil. Okay. I need him to, to move go. again. Here we go. There we go. Oof. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Yeah, she's getting better, so that means that she can move much more. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. You know, I forgot to do this, actually. To heal her. I could have done it, I just didn't do it. Thank you. Don't worry. Hostile sighted. Yep. Yeah. Let's leave it there. At least we know there's someone there. There's two. Oh, have to be careful. At least we're getting close. Here we go. Let's see who well can see Hostile first. Sighted. see the oh 
Oh no. Okay, there is someone there. Oh, well, this showed there's someone here, but I cannot see this one. There's no way this is... Now. Man, that was close. Moving out. Yeah, she's moving much better. That's all I need. Hmm. Ready to go. Yeah, he's going to evade this, but... Take this! Oh my, that was close. That was close. Let's see what happens. Yeah, interesting. He did not move. Okay? Come on. Pull it together. Now! Yes. We got him. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Ah! I mean, I knew it was going to happen, I just... There's a path there, that's the one that I want to take. There it is. Here we go. Yeah, this one there. This can't be good. Let's see if I can move Alicia. Hmm. 
can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Oof, I did it. Okay, let's wait here. If it moves. Yeah, that's all I need. Moving out. Yeah, uh, Alicia, that's so stupid, right? Alicia go. cannot activate the the event, so... Oh, there's more here. This should be the last one, right? Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? I think she's thinking about making it. Right, something, something to eat. Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No, I'm just. Yeah. I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. Uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods, and you're thinking of baking bread. <laughs> you tease me. Wow. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Okay, let's see where are the... Oh, oh wait. Let's leave it here. Let's see what happens. I think he's not in the in the area, so he should survive it. Oh, that one's not going to be survivable. So ready to go. Thinking of doing something, it didn't work. Okay, this is probably a safe distance. I wonder if Alicia's almost here. Okay. Now Alicia needs to do the same thing. My turn, okay? Going to have to take the other way. I don't think. Yeah. Let's see where this goes.
Doesn't matter. That was close. Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground even if we tried. That's okay. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. Yeah, this is a that was a bit of a fairly easy mission. But I think it's just the beginning of the mission. It was divided into two parts, I think. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Maybe you should. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? That is true. I don't remember what was his answer. Like, I don't remember why did he like that nature itself. Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. Okay. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Oh, well, he seemed to be a, a, fam I mean, a famous general, and it does make sense based on how his son is, you know. Knowing a bit of nature, you know. Uh, Again, using some knowledge that you might not assume that are good and important to battle. So he was able to adapt them to that, so yeah. Like the trails, you know, the temperature, you know, the, uh, the area you're fighting. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. Okay. I don't think dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. That's a really cool... Uh, it's like a very interesting thing because... It's like, yeah. They all call you a hero, but you know your wife died. It's like, oh, I don't feel like a hero. The war won him respect and adulation. But it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him. That question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. <laughs> Just, oh my god, this guy has a good story, background story there. Okay, so that was the first mission. Let's save it. Be careful here. Let's get a bit more of the story. Life. <laughs> Ali 
Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me. Welcome. <laughs> do something. Well, it's no use. The wound's way too deep. Yeah, he's it's, going to die. It's so dark. Oh god. I don't know, Mother. you have to open your eyes, don't you think? Open your eyes. Mother. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... Oh my god, that was like so... <laughs> the way he died was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Why is it so hard, this part of death? Uh, maybe it's because you need to see or something, because... It happens in movies when someone is acting like... That part of dying, it is so like, I mean, there's some people that just it is so much fun the way they die. It's like, exactly like that guy. It's like, he, he says something, they made it, he just, he just died. Like, the game of throne, House of the Dragon, when the king in that story dies, that was, that was the way I'm trying to say that that's how it should I feel it should be that guy just like says something and immediately he died uh, yeah that's the thing oh, I war is I, I, I love war only when it comes to movies video games that kind of thing like if it's just something in our imaginations like that it doesn't really happen but when it's in real life uh, I hate it because it just doesn't make sense. Even in these things, it's just both sides are just trying to do what the their leaders are, are saying. So uh, okay, so that cutscene there, I might leave it there. Yes, I'll leave this for later. I got another mission there. Is it the same place? Let me check. It looks similar. Yeah, it, it looks very similar. I don't... The map, I'm just seeing from here. Yeah, they look very closely. Uh, we'll see what happens. Well, let's go to the headquarters first before I go. How much do I have? 23,000. Let's see the cemetery. Hello again, son. Hello. I'm sorry. Yeah, you never have some anything for me, so... It's so weird to go back here, but during the fight, like, how does that even happen? Hey! Oh, and I couldn't help but... So... I mean, you don't have anything. Come back and... Let's go to the training field. Welcome to your worst night. Train up. No, let's do this one. You're Level ten. That's great. Good. And now let us. See what we have in our
Oh. It is good to have. Okay, you have to wait here. No, no. This is not what I wanted. Okay, so make the machine gun much stronger. This is for critical defense, threat defense, threat HP. I like to buy everything that I can. So this goes here. Yeah. So it's asking me either I get an accuracy I don't know if you can buy them all I, I really don't know I think accuracy for the Marsman, you know, the scout is the best, right? Let's see if I can buy them all. Here you yeah, you can, but I'm going to buy that just for the moment. I think that's the right fit for them. For this guy, it, it, if it is firepower, it makes sense. For them, the same thing. It would be more accuracy. We'll have to wait and see. I, I now know that I can buy more, but... What do you change? Come back! Yeah, I think it's here. Let me check something. they change or am I... Let me check first. I think it did change. It's not where I wanted to go. I think they changed. Maybe I'm, I was wrong. Yeah, they changed. I don't know what happens if you buy this. I'm not going to do it. I'll do it later. Come back. I think I did a. Uh... Oh, let's shut the command room. Okay, no one knew. Come back. Let's see the gloss area here. Uh, the Valkyrie. These immigrants from the north are said to have united the devastated continent under one rule in ancient times, though believed to be an oceanic tribe that crossed into Europa via the North Sea 
Much of their historical origin remains unproven by archaeological fact. The Ratnite weaponry allegedly granted them unparalleled power over the Darshan natives, though other accounts suggest that their very bodies exuded a strange blue light that allowed them to perform superhuman feats. Where historical fact ends and legend begins, none can say. By the end of the second century, after the conquest, interbreeding with the native population is thought to have all but ended the pure Valkyrian bloodline. Yeah, so in essence, he's saying like there might be Valkyrians uh, uh, in the population, but it's not pure. I never understood was it was it an ability that they had. The Val the the Valkyr was it an ability you know something in their blood that made them special like because their power I think is basically like the Rat Knight power right so but I don't know how did they get that I don't know if it was just nature or something based on experimentation okay the Darshans let's see this one. Europa's oldest indigenous race said to have lived across the continents in ancient time. They are char characterized by dark blue hair, blue black hair, and shawls bearing the traditional Darshan pattern. History tells of a Darshan calamity in which this race devastated the continent until the Valkyrie defeated them in the War of the Valkyrie. For their crimes of senseless destruction, the Darshan were stripped of their last names and chased from their job and property and remain the target of hatred and persecution. Recent use of Darshan labor to mine and smell uh, ratnite in refinery sites full of pungent oils have given rise to a new set of stereotypes. Despite endless de derision and persecution, the Darshan remain a proud race with a rich, unique culture. Yeah, uh, that's the interesting thing. That's why they only have one name, like, it's because they don't have the other, they were stripped, so, it's crazy. Okay. Beginning as an imperial incursion into the Federation land, the Europa, the Second European War, quickly engulfed the entire continent in what became the largest scale war in Europa's history. Though EW1 ended in stalemate, both powers have spent the intervening years stopping arms and preparing for the inevitable return to hostilities. After a short 20 year pause, the Empire began the invasion anew, taking three of the Federation's border republics in quick succession. Uh, the Federation responded with a formal declaration of war. It wasn't long before the forces both uh, the forces of both superpowers uh, began to spill across the border of their neighboring nations. Soon all Europa was caught in a war that dwarfed all their all all those in memory. So yeah, uh, as I said before, this is similar to World War One and World War Two, but it's not. It has some very important difference like this one, like uh, if this was like EW1, then the the imper the empire would have lost, uh, and then they would have world sing against. But that's not what happened. They just ended in a stalemate. I don't think that's what happened in the first war. I mean, I'm not a well versed in the first world war, so maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I have so much personnel, personnel here. I mean, little by little, I will read it. Okay, I still have one more skirmish. Okay. I'll definitely save it here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget if you're new to the channel to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. 
that is all for the moment. Easy the game is signing off. I will see you on the next video.